as you'll have seen last night, I had a dream that I was Mary Poppins. I love Mary Poppins. I kind of wish that I was her because she's practically perfect in every way, which I'm not actually, just to let you into a secret. I'm not, but I wish I were. And my favourite song in the whole of Mary Poppins is the one that goes, with every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You'll find the fun and snap the jobs again. You see, I, I do wish that I was her, but I'm not. Anyway, when I woke up from that dream, I thought to myself, how can I get Mary Poppins into an assembly at school? I'm sure I can somehow. And I was thinking not about the sugar, but the spoon. This, do you know what this is? What kind of spoon it is? It's a teaspoon. And we're going to be thinking about a teaspoon as we think about how it can help us to pray. Did you ever think that a teaspoon might be able to help us to pray? Well, it can. And that's what we're going to be learning about today. I wonder if any of you have been helping your mums and dads bake things while we've been in lockdown. Maybe you've been making some cakes or something yummy to eat. If you've been getting into baking, then you'll know what the shorthand for teaspoon is. Let me just quickly show you in a recipe book. You'll see in this recipe, you need half a TSP of salt and half TSP baking powder. TSP is baking language for teaspoon. It's short for teaspoon. T-S-P. So that's how we're going to use teaspoon for our prayers. We're going to use those letters T-S-P. Now I wonder if you can guess what the T stands for for our prayers. It stands for got a wobbly camera there. T stands for thanks. It's an always a good idea, especially when you're not feeling very happy, to think about all the things that you're thankful for. So I wonder, you might like to press pause on the video and talk to the people you're with, maybe your mum and dad, maybe your brothers and sisters, maybe your classmates, See if you can write down or think of five things that you're thankful for. It could be anything from a pet, a toy, a family member, somebody that helps you. See if you can think of five things to say thank you to God for. Now I'll just say a little prayer. Dear God, thank you that we all have things to be thankful for. Thank you for the blessings that we have in our lives. Amen. Okay, so we've reached letter S of the TSP, the teaspoon prayers. I wonder if you can guess what the S stands for. Any ideas? Well, it stands for sorry. Sometimes we need to say sorry for things we've done wrong. Because what happens is, if we do something wrong, it can weigh on us heavily. We can feel that we're carrying that thing around with us. And it's not very nice and it gets heavier and heavier the longer we don't say anything. But as soon as we say we're sorry, it's like it slowly disappears out of our heads. Now, I'm going to share with you a little tip that we can do and that's why I'm in my kitchen right now to tell you this. I've come into my kitchen and all you need for this little exercise, you might be able to see if you can get your mum and dad to get some of these so that you can do the same at home. What I've got here are some vitamin tablets that go fizzy in water, that's all they are. Some of you, your, your older ones watching this might remember doing this activity in church last year um, or the year before actually we haven't had you visiting our church for a really long time anyway 
you just need to get one of these vitamin tablets and you could do it just at breakfast time just to help you to let go of anything that's weighing you down and what we're going to do this time is think about things that we wish we hadn't done or wish we hadn't said but you could use it at another time to think about things that are stressing you out things that are making you feel sad so you can use it in lots of different ways but this time we're going to be thinking about saying sorry so I'd like you to think just for a minute or two about one or two things that you've said or done recently that you think I hadn't done that and what we're going to do is we're going to drop this into some water and watch it slowly disappear and that's just what it's like when we say sorry to God he forgets the thing we've said and he forgives us and takes it away okay so get ready Oh, that feels better, doesn't it? That's what happens when we say sorry. God forgives us and takes it all away. Now the last one of our teaspoon prayers. We've had T, which stands for thanks. We've had S, which stands for sorry. And now we have P, which stands for please. These are all the things we would like to ask to God to help us with. So we say, please help us, God. Now, sometimes it's too difficult to put into words the things that we're thinking of and worrying about. And what I do when that happens is I get a candle and I light that candle. And I let that candle represent all the things that I'm worrying about. So maybe you would like to think of a few things that are on your mind that you would like God's help with. Dear God, thank you that you know what we're thinking about and thank you that you always answer our prayers. Amen. Well, I don't think you'll ever look at Teaspoon in the same way again, will you? Hopefully it'll always be a really helpful reminder of how you can pray, saying thank you, sorry and please. And those three words are actually really useful, aren't they? To use as much as we possibly can. To always say thank you when somebody does something for us. To always say sorry when we've made a mistake. And to always ask nicely when we want something and say please. So let me finish our online assembly by giving you a blessing. This is an old Celtic blessing. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you 
in the palm of his hand. Amen. Hopefully it won't be too long before I get to come and see you in school, but if we've got a bit longer, I'll make another video. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Bye.